right, it's in there. We have that manifold welded on. It's a little tight. We're gonna get that clearance. We got a plan for that. This one we're free at home free for 9,000 miles. Obviously, you can see they have power steering and it turns pretty good the way it is, so it's fine. Turn it this way. And I don't know, uh, ICT billet moves the power steering up to there. I may put it on, I don't know. I've drove these trucks without it. It's, it's a little bit of pain, but we'll see. We're gonna play that by ear, okay, boys and girls? We're just gonna say we'll, we'll catch that later. But that's where we're there. The only option was to go that way. And if you were really concerned about how much power you're making, which, you know, we can't really be that concerned because, you know, we're not that kind of special ed people. Uh, you want these pipes to kind of come close to matching in length. It's gonna be hard enough now, but if I went that way, there's no way I could do that because I'd have to send that thing all the way over there and all the way back. It'd just be a disaster. So, uh, yeah, we're going to uh, just go with what we got and work with it and figure a way out of there. There, the next thing we're gonna do is we've got the intake over there. We're going to pull the injectors off of it, level harness so we don't forget which injector which. Noel's taking pictures of, of his envoy for whatever reason. And uh, we're going to put the new two tins I got from Snake Eater back in it. And I'll clean the old ones, but we know they're really effed up right now because I left them sitting for two months with ethanol in them, which is bad on me. But uh, we'll get see if we can get them cleaned. If not, we'll buy a couple and replace it. And then we have a spare set. And uh, that's where we're going to go from there at. Uh, Chase did oil change there. OPS is there. You see she's still happy. Nothing wrong with her. She's still here. 2500 still here. Yep, that's where we're at. Saturday. Uh, uh, I'm definitely back from the beach now. Uh, we'll see in the previous video there. But anyway, uh, so like I said, we got the V bands on the manifolds. That's going to be a minor problem. We can fix that. No problems here. Uh, building a mount to hold the turbo up right now is what I got. It'll be black. You'll never see it. But anyway, we got that. We got turbo. We'll make sure it's bolt in and out because the turbo weighs 65 pounds. She's a big girl. Moderately sized motor. She'll make this thing move, we hope. We've got new front tires on because the uh, old bias plies were spanked on the hell and back wouldn't hold air we got the radials on it now because we plan on street driving it and yes i will drive it with a radio in front and the bias ply in the back people tell you don't do it do it all the time did it in fairmont bazillion times does just great for me a little more predictable up front uh it's got a proper speed rating on that that is what it is uh we'll definitely get new rear tires at some point for it but that's good 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 uh hopefully today when chase gets back he will fulfill his obligations to me and stove the drive shaft in and put the shifter in so this thing can go in and out of park. We do have the shifter in here mounted. I gotta finish with a bunch of stuff back together, but the shifter is mounted on the floor there. The cable is routed. We actually have door handles on it now where we did before when we got it. Uh, we're gonna have to get a cage in the back of it at some point because I need something about my harnesses with. But uh, we'll worry about that way later on the road right now. We'll die with these on. It's okay. Anyway, we'll, we'll address that later. Yeah. Sometimes you get, sometimes you don't. And this is just roughed in. We still got a lot of cleaning to do, but there you go. That gets you about where you're going to go. And like I said, it'll look nice and together. Then obviously I've got to put waste gates on it, but my merge uh, waste gate uh, from motion race work, the uh, merge flange, where you just cut, the, drill a hole, and the weld gives you flat flange. That's coming, so we'll get that on. We're going to do that side. This side's going to come down, go through here, under the bar, so Noah's quit crying about it. Come on over, go back up. And the turbo is going to sit right here. We'll show you tomorrow. And I'm going to order a radiator. It's a half size instead of full size. We're going to use that in the OBS. And it's going to sit right here. It's for a Dodge, I think, or something. But anyway, it'll work. We'll go from there. All right, I got Chase help me. He's going to jack it there. Get the drive shaft in it. Get the shifter hooked up. I'm going to weld all this. See if we can get it back on there. This should be fine. Aftermarket drive shaft in place from Carolina Drive Line. And you can see down there we have the cool springs, we have the cow track, and we have the leaf springs. Yeah, I said what I said. I don't know, it's been fast, that's all I can you. But it's all there. Sweet. This is some random wire. We're we'll probably not be using that. And uh, there we go. Getting there, getting there, getting there. I've been kicked out of my welding station, but anyway. Got Knowles with the safety splints. I got the other match I'm gonna give for you. 
it ain't gonna do you no good, but it makes you feel better about it. I did. Stuff out here with just rough laying things out. All that guy got bracket built. That's gonna get some bolts in there lined up and shit. Something that moved over. You get what I'm saying? We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. Yes, that's side creek. Apparently they were pretty serious about the Have to do the waste gates, so it's gonna come off. We gotta take it off before we fire it up anyway. But I wanted to get up here so I can start trying to figure out the, that dump pipe out of here, figure that part too. So, some ciphering to do here and there. But you can see it, there it is. That is a big mamma jamma. You see, she is a part of the truck now. I shake it, shake the hood. I'm gonna lock this motor down here in a minute too with a tab, make sure it don't go nowhere. But heck yeah, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Alright, we'll bring it back. Day whatever of Noel's engine swap here. Let's talk more dude. So we finally convinced him to come on out over to the house and get started with this. So wow. he's successfully got most of the engine out of the way. I'll say what it took a change to get out there. I told you yesterday I wanted to do a tug of war, see which one could hold on harder. I'll crank the GMC up right now. Well fuck, I'll swear to God I will yank this motor straight out of here. <laughs> yes, sir. Take the Four windshield with it too. Fucking foot in the floor. No one wants to too. It's a good thing I could engine swap my uh, Cub, Cadet, Cub Cadet now. Power. Yes, I would. Oh, no. More action, buddy. More action. More action. Sure. Are you tired, Noel? I'm tired. I'm very tired. Yeah, same here. crappy dodge he can take it home stick it somewhere i don't know what, what do you think hey, i don't know where he's gonna put it i can give him two choices all right the two two is gonna go there if anybody wants to buy one let us know i think a can of campbell's soup that's completely out of date would be a fair offer hundred dollars engine and trans everything that's fucking on it is yours that's way overpriced but anyway <laughs> Uh, that truck it's is dying price. too, so sorry for it. But anyway, there we go. So we're gonna miss that old girl there. She ain't gonna do it. The fact that the seat's not even bolted down is the best part. The rear end under here, I hadn't shown y'all yet. But she's a pretty nice little unit there. It's easy to uh, double adjustable <coughs> Vikings there. We have double adjustables in the front, so good, a good setup. It's got a single thing that it cow tracks on. So I want to ask some questions about that because I got to do some learning. But it worked. Trust me, it worked. This truck was fast, faster than the Fairmont was. So we're trying to make it just as quick. Yeah, because pretty, pretty tricky to under there. And we'll start during the week here. I'll get that mounted up. I'll find a location for that. That's pretty much where it goes. Uh, we'll leave them there. And we've got to put the nitrous in here too. But, uh, pretty happy with it coming along. Pretty darn happy. I'm going to start with the computer placement and relay placement. I think I'm putting a board back there, but i got to figure where the roll bar's going to go so I don't get in my own way. And then work on the inner board replacement up front. But I'm very happy with the turbo. A little lower would been nice, but I wanted to make sure I had plenty of fall for it to drain. I didn't want to fight that, and I knew the lower I got, that might have been a problem. But I'm happy with that right there. That makes me all warm and fuzzy on the inside. And uh, so, yeah, 
go do some cleaning up. <clears throat> I am going to buy a different hood for it at some point. My buddy Aaron's got two fenders for it. If I get uh, crazy enough to change them, <coughs> I may leave them. Hold on a second. I had to go inside. I lost, uh, got a little dry in my throat. But anyway, so like I said, next start next week, we'll plumb it, start wiring it. That's the goal. Not sure what time frame to fire it. Uh, the engine's not new, so we already know it'll run. If it should still run, hopefully. But yeah, we got to get, uh, I don't know if I need, how much more stuff I need to buy. So we'll start laying out what I got, get a game plan on it, and go from there. But she's really close. Uh, Motion race works. Uh, the flanges should be here tomorrow. My wife wants to whiz that hot side back off. Blood flanges on. I ordered the wrong exhaust things for my uh, waste case and those. Stainless products, so I got to order another set. They'll be here by the end of the week and hopefully we'll make some progress on that. And then obviously get the boost leash in place. Stuff around relay locations. I really, really, really like, which you know, I probably won't get what I like, is put a board back here behind the seat with the computer and all the relays in one place. And just, it won't be a professional wiring job, but at least something we can service and know what's what. But, uh, let's be honest, Fairmont was a disaster. So, uh, fast disaster, but a disaster. So we'll figure that out, go from there. We'll get our glove box back up, but we'll wait till everything's up from there. The computer may get mounted up in there, I don't know yet. We'll sort it all out, figure out what we need. Uh, I ain't even bought the roll cage from the truck yet. I'll probably drive without it, drive with wastegate stuff, just have fun. Uh, really pleased with getting this truck. I think it was a great trail on my part. I hope the guy that got his is toy. He's a cool, super cool dude. He seems really happy with the Fairmont. So I hope he's happy with it. Uh, told me to put it on a Holly FI. I'd give him the tune up for it and get him where he needs to go. Uh, <clears throat> he did not build this truck, so he can't tell me what's about it. He got it on trade. But I do know the guy that did, did build it, and I might reach out to him and talk to him and see if we can figure some stuff out. Why, you know how he had the suspension set up so we know what baseline to start off with so we're going to totally out in third the left field not know what's going on but uh if nothing else i was calling my buddy sammy because i know he's helping to help say hey buddy help me figure this out because one thing is like they boosted my friend you ever need anything just call the man he'll come do it so he's really cool we meet him up the track he'll jump out of this thing i was a drag trip one time and uh i saw i don't know if he, he was put his car in park and jumped out and he was laying underneath mine adjusting the shocks he's a great dude Great day. Anyway, we're going to work on this and get it ready because I would like to make some passes here before long because it's like it's going to be a fun truck. I like it a lot. It's got me motivated again where I was kind of ooh on the Fairmont. So I think it's good. I do want to change the hood because there's two holes I'm not going to use. Don't want to use them. So a black four inch cow will be mint on it. Uh, we still are going to most likely put the LS in that uh, OBS or we will do aluminum heads on. I don't quite know yet. I have everything that takes the LS swap one, including the air conditioner in here. Maybe I'll get somebody to make somebody a package deal, sell it off, and buy some aluminum heads for it, and put long piece of aluminum heads and nice cam and some nitrous on it. That could work, but I need to get the transmission redone in first because it's not a happy camper. It makes the one two shift, but you can tell it's just not happy about it. So that's why you'll see a whole lot of vids about it because really, I can't really get on it because it's, just, it's no fun. None. So, but we'll get it there. We'll get it fixed up because it's a good looking truck. I like it a lot. I'll throw a picture in here, obviously, if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. And some, not everybody watches every video, and that's cool. But I appreciate the ones that do watch, and I'll catch y'all later. Bye.